Yeah, so Nona, I would just like to ask you about um, what it was like during the war when you guys were younger and you went and spent time with your godfather in San Jose. Oh, I used to spend the summers there with my godparents on Capitol Expressway. They had a big ranch there. I used to spend almost a month there in the summertime. You spent and more than that. Didn't that you have to? Your boots or something. Yeah, well that was after, yeah. when I first started going there. Well, what were your godparents' names? Zoria. Z-O-R-I-A. Zoria. Nick Zoria. Lived on Capitol Expressway. They had a big ranch there. Raised apricots and prunes. Cut, we used to cut, help cut apricots under the shed. Now it's all done by machines. And, and they used to dry their prunes there. And uh, I, they'd come and pick my godfather to pick me up and bring me back when he felt like bringing me back. So it's usually <laughs> a month. And then during the war, my parents were uh, illegal aliens. They weren't citizens and we had to move to San Jose. So we lived there for about three months, three, four months. Sweep again. Uh, and we rented a home there on, on uh, um, I forget the street, and we lived there and it was like party time because my brothers were aliens and my parents were, so all, my, all of our friends would uh, commun communicate at our house and play cards and it was like a vacation for us. <laughs> and now where did Nanda work? Huh? Nanda worked, you said at the... Uh, my brothers worked for uh, the Perucci brothers. They had canneries there, and they were even at the house at night. You so never worked. I never worked. They played golf. They ne no, the Perucci <laughs> brothers would take my brothers and go play golf and, and then pay them wages, just like he was, they were working, the two brothers. So we had a real nice time there. And then we came back to, after the war, came back, moved back to Larka Street. That's. Our family home's there, is still there. My sister lives there. Oh, oh for a year, that's our, well, we lived on Larkin Street. Um, see, after I got married, I moved to uh, New Orleans. No, yeah. And with Frank. Frank and I stayed there till the war was over. Then came back, and I used to suffer from headaches all the time. And my doctor, who was Dr. Will Agora, told me, you better get out of the house and go find yourself a job. That's a picture of my mother's brother. That's my Uncle Nino. Mm -hmm. That's and my He's brother. passed away. Passed away when he was 58, uh, cancer. I started working mm -hmm. for the school district, Monterey Peninsula School District. I worked for for 20 years as a baker. I baked uh, at Or Terrace School. I baked cookies, made all the bread for, for, for spaghetti dinners, cornbread, cookies. Cobblers, I did that for 20 years. And when I was 62, I told my manager, I'm retiring. I've had enough of this. She said, if you're retiring, I'm retiring. So we went down to the main office and we both retired at 62 years old. And now I'm 92 and working at home and that's it. I still feeding my father. <laughs> so that's a, story of, that's a story of my life. Beautiful. Now they got pack outs. Yeah, now the schools have, I'd still be working. If they have the pack outs and the lousy food that they're serving now, I'd still be working at school. Because we did everything from scratch. Everything was done by from scratch, roast and everything. Wow. But now everything comes packed out and the kids are dumping it all in the garbage can. Yeah, and unhealthy. So that's the story of my life. And I'm still here with Frank giving him a bad time, and he's giving me a bad time. <laughs> and I'm the referee. That's and right. my son Anthony puts up with us. And That's thank why we've been Thank God for years. my son Anthony, because he takes us every place. I don't know what we do without him, because my daughter lives in Salinas. Mary Rose lives in Salinas. Hmm. And so that's it. Well, thank you very much for sharing with me. Pardon? Today. Thank you very much for sharing with me today. Well, that's your welcome. We appreciate both of you and your time, and of course, Godfather, thank you for coming. I know you didn't get to tell too many stories today, that's but okay. that's all right. This is their day. It's it's kind of funny to see you and your father sitting there together, mm -hmm. uh, because when your mother was talking, both of you were looking out the window, <laughs> and they're just spitting images of each other. So the same look on your face, the same. Yeah, it's awesome. 
So anyway, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Okay, Joe. We'll see you again at Seaside. Oh, yeah.